Look at the Tfilis. Tfilis 33, Master of the Worlds. You are one. Though, only though be a hundred number. You are one. Oh, though be a hundred number. You are higher than the, you are one, though beyond number. You are higher than the highest beings. More concealed than all hidden levels. You are beyond the grasp of all thoughts. You fill all the worlds. Yet you are beyond all the worlds. No place is void of you. The whole world, oh, the whole earth is filled with your glory. And you rule over everything. You give life to all. All the hosts above and all those below to all the holy realms and levels and all the realms and levels in the domain of unholiness, even the ten crowns of impurity contain godly vitality. Let your name be blessed forever. There is no force in the world, no husks and no level of impurity that does not contain a spark of godly vitality buried within it. For you give life to everything without you, nothing can ex- could exist or survive at all, hidden, with, uh, hidden within, within all the languages of the nations, within all evil patterns of behavior and evil desires, and even within sins and terror prohibitions, lie sparks of godly vitality. Praise God for you have power and control over everything. I have therefore come before you, O God, and God of my Father's master of all to stretch out my hands to you and appeal to you for mercy and kindness. Fill me with holy wisdom and knowledge. Fill me with holy wisdom and knowledge. Fill me with holy wisdom and knowledge, power and strength, so that I will be able to fight my evil urge, take control of it and make it genuinely subservient to you. Let me know you and come closer to you in all situations. Regardless of whether whether things are good or, or bad, let me constantly come closer to you. So as to fulfill the verse in Hashem, God's attribute of mercy, I will praise His word. In Elohim, His attribute of justice, I will praise His word and always be attached to you. Help me know, oh, help me know you and draw close to you and repent completely in the situation I'm in at this very moment. Maybe I've fallen very low and sunk very far because of my sins, even so I believe with perfect faith that even in the place I'm in at this very moment, you can be found and as there is nowhere that is empty of you. And you rule over all places and situations. Have mercy and take pity on me. Have mercy and take pity on me. Don't hide your face from me, even though this place may be very lowly. There too your hand will lead me and your right arm will hold me. Merciful God, don't abandon the work of your hands. Take hold of me and quickly bring me out of all these lowly and degraded places. Help me search for you always. No matter where I find myself and let me fulfill the verse and you will search from there. For the Lord your God, yeah, and you will find Him if you search for Him with all your heart and all your soul. Help me find you at all times and lovingly draw me towards you. Even if I fail to search for you properly, fulfill the verse I give access to those who did not ask for me. I was at hand to those who did not seek me out. I said, here I am, here I am, to a nation that was not called by my name. I stretch out my hands to you, I spread out my arms all day. My soul is like a land wilting for you who sell her. To you I lift up my eyes, you who dwell in the heavens. Be gracious to us, God be gracious to us, for we are fully sated with contempt. Our soul is prostrate, is prostrate in the dust. Oh, our belly is stuck to the ground. Oh, my, my soul is stuck to the dust. Give me life according to your word. Arise, help us and redeem us for the sake of your kindness. Hurry to save me, God of my salvation. Free me soon and lift me out of all these filthy, lowly places which are so lacking in spirituality. Don't let the, the deep swallow me up and don't let the pit close its mouth on me. Oh, have mercy on me and redeem me quickly. Take me out, lift me up, and purify me of the evil caused by all of my sins and transgressions against you. From my youth until today, both those I did willfully and those that were unintentional, fill me with the only power and strength of the Siddiq, and the of Nachman Feige, and the special of Nachman Feige, that resides here, that rests here, and his two students, and two students, and two students, students, and the two students of this generation who were able to gain control of their evil urge and literally become home like angels. Of the, God, of the God of hosts, despite innumerable tri- trials, they stood firm and overcame oh, their desires and achieved such a high level of self control that they were able to break and remove their evil urge completely and attach themselves to you till the ultimate degree. I'm relying on their merits and strength. I'm relying on their merits and the strength. 
in their merit at pity on me and give me some of the power of their power and strength so that I too can master and control my evil urge and break it help me break and remove all my evil traits and desires until no evil remains in me at all and I come back to you in complete repentance truly and with all my heart let the evil that has taken all of me fall away and totally disappear and let the goodness in Torah hidden within my personality be refined and revealed with great added light from above until I can radiate all the good that is within me help me rise from level to level in great holiness until I come truly close to you and sincerely attach myself to you and your holy Torah open up to me the light of godly wisdom and awareness of all so that I will know you and attach myself open up to me the light of God of godly wisdom and awareness of godly wisdom ever and with awareness so that I will know you and attach myself to you at all times with the utmost love abundant love eternal love of love well, with the utmost love abundant love eternal love with the utmost love abundant love eternal love and truth faith holiness and purity holiness and purity holy holiness and purity Reduce to a, minimum, to a minimum the concealing veils and screens that separate me from you. Re reduce to a minimum the concealing veils and screens that separate me from you and bring me to know you directly. Without too many concealing veils, bring me very close to you and fill me with, and fill me with holy wisdom and awareness. From now on and forever, please, loving God, who redeems and saves, you have you have ways to ensure that no one will be cast aside from you. Stand at my right side and support me. Help me bring my evil urge under control and make it subservient to you. Help me break and remove all the evil traits and desires that have taken hold of me. From now on, send me good times. Help me see and enjoy the good in every day. Help me see and enjoy the good in every day. And treasure it so much. Help me see and enjoy the good in every day. Help me see and, en and enjoy the good in every day and treasure it so much that all hardships and difficulties will simply pale into insignificance. Help me see and enjoy the good in every day and treasure it so much that all, 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 all hardships and them and difficulties will simply pale into insignificance. Help me discover and reveal the hidden goodness that is present even on days when things seem bad. Let me sift out the good from the bad. Have mercy on me and from now on, save me from being adversely, adversely affected. In any way, when time blah, 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 times are difficult because my many sin, of my sins, I've already suffered more than enough bad days. And my power of endurance ha has been shaken. Have pity on me from now on, save me, free me, and redeem my soul from bad days I help me far by the negativity I feel when things are difficult and let me turn my bad days into good ones help me fight the negativity I feel when things are difficult and let me turn my bad days into good ones save me from all evil all sin Oh, save me from all evil, all sin, and all evil traits and desires. Help me conduct myself with the utmost sanctity, even, even with regard to things that are permitted. From now on, let all my days be good. Help me conduct myself with the utmost sanctity, even with regard to things that are permitted. From now on, let all my days be good. Let me spend my days in true goodness and enjoy years of supreme pleasantness. Let me devote all my days to genuine service of God and turn to study. Let me be attached to you at all times and merged in your, in your unity, in grace, awe, and love, truth, faith, holiness, and purity forever. Help me fulfill the verse, turn from evil and do good. Seek peace and chase after it. Let me speak, seek peace at all times. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Peace at all times. Let me be at peace within myself. Let me experience peace and harmony in all the different things that happen to me. Let me always be able to find God in all of all places, at all times, in the end, in all people. Let me always run after peace. Help me make peace within the Jewish people, between Jew and Jew, and between husbands and their wives, all in great holiness and purity. And let me be among those who make peace between the Jewish people and their Father in heaven. Help me devote myself to your holy Torah at all times and thereby bring me to ever greater peace. As it is written, its ways are ways of pleasantness and all its pathways are peace. Help me carry out all the teachings of your Torah with love. Let me fulfill 
all 630 commandments of the Torah and all the en- en- enactments of the sages and all the ramifications, details and fine points, even the mitzvahs we cannot carry out today let them fulfill all haya on the spiritual level through studying and meditating on them and through the unity of the Jewish people and the great love and peace that will reign among us all. Let me feel a deep bond of fellowship and connection with every single Jew and let the entire Jewish holy, holy Jewish nation be as one man. Raise me quickly and easily from level to level. It's so like truly become totally good so that through your power and that of the tzaddikim, if Rav Nachum Faye give a simcha, Nanach Nachum 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 and his two students, two students, students, and two students of this generation, I will be able to uncover the goodness concealed and buried in all the bad people and among the non Jews and make it shine even when I speak to them or have to have business dealings with them and I see their negative quality. Let me always be able to discover and bring out the godly vitality hidden in them. As it is within all the language, as it is, yeah, 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 within all the languages of the various peoples and their evil traits as soon as I start speaking or doing business with them. Let the evil immediately fall away before me and let the goodness and holiness that are present be revealed and shine forth. In full radiance, let the letters of Torah that are concealed among them be revealed. Let the sense the letters of the Torah give life to everything in the world. Let the letters stand out clearly and join together and shine yeah, 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 with extra light from above. Help me sh- sift out the holy letters of Torah buried within the languages of the nations and their evil traits and fit them together to build perfect structures of holiness. I fulfill a fervent, bless God, you angels of His, you who are mighty in strength, who carry out His word to hear the, to hear the voice of His word. Bless God, all His hosts, His attendants to do His will. Oh, bless God, what all his works in all the places of his dominion. Let my soul bless God, master of the world. You know it would never, you, you know it would never have occurred to me to make all these requests of you. I may not be aware of the full extent of my distance from you, but with the little understanding I do have of how far away I am, I would never have had the audacity to, to request even a small portion of what I've asked. But God, you know my heart. I base all my prayers. I base all my prayers, requests, and hopes. Only on the merit and strength. I base all my prayers, requests, and hopes only on the merit and strength of the true tzaddikim. In front of Nachum of Fai, give Simcha Nachum of Nachum of Nachum of Uma, and Shoich and Poi. And it's true students, true students, and true students, students, and true students of this generation. In the shadow of whose wings we take refuge, I'm relying on them and making all these requests. Because their strength is sufficient even for someone as totally distant as I am. I have trust in their great power and I still, and I still have hopes that I will be able to attain everything I've asked of you and more. For your compassion is never exhausted and the merit and strength of the tzaddikim. Oh, it will never come to an end. Prat that of Nachum Feige, Nachum Nachum Uman, and two students, two students, students, two students of this generation. No one holiness can stand up against their exalted holiness and the towering strength. Their merit and strength will help and protect us and all who take refuge in them for the tzaddikim. Prat of Nachum Feige, Nachum 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 Uman, greater after death. Then in their lifetime they are called alive at all times. Grant that I should be able to come very regularly to prostrate myself at their holy grave sites and pour out all my thoughts and feelings before them. Just as I would if they were alive, and even more so, just as I would, even if, oh, just as just as just as I would if they were alive, if they were alive, and even more so, just as I would, just as I would. If they were alive and even more so, oh, yeah, let me let me arouse their compassion for someone locked up and in prison as I have been. So many years in places so far distant from you, the true, the tzaddikim, especially Nachman Feigen and Nachman Nachman Umna Shoichem Poy that resides here, are fully aware of our situation in this transient world. From beginning to end, they know how pitiable a person is as he passes through this world like a traveler turning aside to rest for the night. He gives no thought to his ultimate destiny and what he will do in the world that will endure for all eternity. Master of the entire universe, the body is yours and the soul is yours. Have mercy on your work for your namesake. Help me, save me and send me true and complete salvation. 
Grant that I should always be truly attached to you and, rec and recognize your and recognize your great love. Oh, yeah, and recognize your great love for the holy Jewish people and recognize your great love for the holy Jewish people and recognize your great love for the holy Jewish people. You chose us from all the nations and exalted us above all languages. You have sanctified us with your commandments which express your great love for the Jewish people. True love, a love and mercy. True love, a love and mercy without end or limit. I in your great love and compassion for the Jewish people. You, contra you contracted your godliness as it were, clothing your love in the Holy Torah and commandments that you gave us through your faith in Prophet Moshe. Every single commandment gives us a particular, a practical pathway that is accessible to our finite minds, but means of which we can gradually come to know and perceive you and serve you truthfully with on love. Help me carry out all your commandments with great love and let me see and understand the lights of the exalted love contained in the holy wisdom of the inner secrets of the Torah, or the Yitzhah of the hidden ancient one, which is destined to be revealed in the future. This is the great love that existed between you and the souls of the Jewish people before you created the world. It is a love that is above time and beyond the limits of this finite world. It is impossible to apprehend the light of this love except through the true tzaddikim. Especially Nachum Feigen and Nachum 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 Yuman is two students of this generation who have totally conquered their evil urges and nullified all their worldly appetites and evil traits to the point that they have perfected perfect self-control to the point that they have perfect self-control Father and King help me attach myself completely to this truth Sadiq who has the power to bring perceptions of the light of the love contained in this holy wisdom within the grasp of people on my level through his merit and power grant that I too should be able to gain control of my evil urge and totally break and remove it help me overcome all my worldly appetites and evil traits help me control my heart at all times and bind my heart to my mind so that all my feelings and responses will be governed, will be governed by holy wisdom in my mind I know that the entire world is filled with your glory according to the glimmer of awareness I have of your greatness and majesty, your unity and power. All my worldly appetites and bad traits should totally disappear and I should not be able to lift so much as a hand or a foot without you. Help me bring this knowledge and awareness down from my mind into my heart until my entire consciousness and personality are filled with it on every level. Again, this way, way, help me gain control over my habawat and remove all my bad traits and desires. Let my positive traits and feelings be totally suffused with the holy knowledge, with this holy knowledge and awareness and receive from the light of the love contained in holy wisdom so that even in this finite time-bound world I will be able to perceive and grasp this hidden light and gain an understanding of the true secrets of the Torah help me come ever closer to you to your holy Torah and to peace and harmony and grasp higher and higher secrets of the Torah merciful God make us worthy of having the hidden Torah oh yeah the hidden Siddiquim special Nachum Feigen Anach Nachum Nachum Amiyum and two students two students and two students, students, and two students of this generation revealed to us, even, in this, even if this world is perhaps unworthy as yet to enjoy this hidden light. Even so, deal with us more, mer more mercifully than strict ju justice might demand. Even so, deal with us more mercifully, more mercifully than strict justice might demand. Stir up your true love and kindness for us and help us become worthy of having the hidden title. And the hidden Siddiquin, Nachum Nachmam Yuman, revealed to us, for you know, God, that our only hope of protection, oh, today, in the depths of this bitter exile, on the threshold of Mashiach, is in the hidden Siddiquin, Nachum Nachmam Yuman, and it's two students, two students, students, and two students of this generation, and the hidden title, loving God, have pity on us, stir up your compassion for us. 
and help us conquer our desires and turn from evil completely in accordance with your will. Let us always do what is good in your eyes until even in this world we will be able to taste and enjoy the hidden treasured light that has been sown for the tzaddikim. As it is written, light is sown for the tzaddik and joy for the straight in heart and say of the tzaddik that it will be well with him for they, for they will eat the fruit of their deeds. Send peace to the Jewish people at all times. Remove all strife from the world until the very abundance of peace will bring even those who are very distant to serve and fear you until the very abundance of peace will bring even those who are very distant to serve and fear you. Even those who are at the utmost removed who are at the utmost removed from holiness, even those who are sunk in all kinds of corruption, filth and dirt. Let them all be truly inspired to return to you from the very places they are in, through the strength of the true tzaddikim, and especially Nanach Nachmu 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 Meyuman and his true students and true students students, whom labor con- who, con- who labor constantly to reveal your godliness and dominion to all the creatures on earth, and to make peace between the Jewish people and their Father in heaven. Oh, even now in this world, send us the amazing peace. Oh, you are destined to reveal in time of time to come. Oh, yes, as it is written, and the wolf will dwell with the sheep, and the leopard will lie down with the lamb, and the bull and the, bull and the lion, and the fatling together, and a little child will lead them, and they will do no harm, and they will not destroy in all my holy mountain, for the earth will be filled with the knowledge of God as the waters cover the sea, and fulfill, he creates the fruits of the lips, he creates the fruits of the lips, peace, peace to the one who is far, and the one who is near, says Hashem, and I will heal him, great peace to the lovers of Yitzhaira, and there is no stumbling block for them, God will give strength to his people. God will bless his people with peace. Amen. Finding God in all situations, overcoming negative traits and desires, attachment to the sound, to our secrets, universal peace. The fact that God is everywhere means that He can be found even in places and situations that may on the surface seem utterly devoid of godliness. The same applies to the different times we go through in life. Not only must we, must we acknowledge God when things are good, we must also search for Him when they seem very bad. A person who gains control of his lower instincts is no longer deceived by outer appearances and can penetrate to the godly vitality that, in, that animates the entire creation. Then the letters of the, al- the, of the Hebrew alphabet, which channel this vitality to the creation, stand out clear for him to see. He is able to find spiritual meaning in every situation. When a person is able to find godliness in all his different life experiences, he attains inner peace. The way to come to this is through study of the Torah. All of, the, all of whose ways are peace, and by attaching oneself to the Siddiquim, who embody the Torah in their very lives, and are called the covenant of peace, the Torah and mitzvahs, God's gift of love to the Jewish people are accessible to our finite minds, yet provide us with graded ways of coming to know and attach ourselves to the infinite God. The Yahya's expression of God's love is the love contained in Das, understanding i.e. the concealed level of the Torah, known as the Torah of the Ancient One, which, which is destined to be revealed in the future, though even today it is possible to get a taste of it. The exalted level of the divine wisdom it contains will enable all opposites to be reconciled, leading to universal peace. Oh, peace and money, though you could in the rest of the world, you